In the past 20 years, I have built a lot of machines powered by a drill. A bandsaw, a little lawnmower, even a little mini bike. And these are just to name a few. But this next one takes the cake. The walking mechanism for this machine was inspired by Dutch artist Theo Jensen. He created a strand beast, which is a kinetic sculpture that walks along the beaches in his wind power. I fell in love with these walking mechanisms or with his walking mechanism and knew that someday I was definitely going to have to do something with it. I went through several models of legs to find the right shape and size and finally ended up with this one. It had a nice long stride and it seemed to actuate like I needed it to. Using the parts as a template from the working prototype, I cut out a bunch more parts and then routed them so they'd have nice smooth edges and then of course lots of sanding. A lot of sanding. Needed to cut down some spacers, so I used some two inch dowel and cut a whole bunch of spacers to hold the legs in the position that I needed them. After I had everything cut, I marked the positions where the spacers would go and then attached them with some 2P10 CA gel and hardener. And I just used a little bit because I wanted to be able to take these apart if they weren't in the right spot or if I needed to make modifications. So this would just tack everything right in place. Originally, I had planned on this machine being green and blue, but as you can already tell from the video, I changed my mind. Because I wanted to be able to take this thing apart completely and make any changes I needed to make, I wanted to screw it together. The regular screws probably wouldn't suffice. With all the torque and pulling and different pressures on it, the small heads on an average screw would definitely pull out. Now these are power head screws. They were designed for cabinet making and installation, and I used them for the entire build. They hold the body, the legs, and everything together and have been holding up wonderfully. The power head screws have a much larger head than an average screw which gives you a lot of purchase on the outside. The After I had everything screwed together I set a little test setup up so I could just try it out. With the legs finished I started working on the body got a little help with the paint job, installed the wheels, and then added a seat which I later changed. Now to make this thing go I know I wanted to use a worm drive. I purchased the gears and then milled the shafts and housing to make everything work. Painted everything silver, installed the gearbox, gave it a little test to make sure it was running right, and voila it was working. Thank you.
want to say a huge thank you to FastCap for sponsoring today's video and if you'd like to try any of the products I used in this build you'll be able to find links in the description box below. Also don't forget to check me out on my social media. I post pictures of my builds as I'm building them and as always please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah.